What's up, Happy Fox users? In this video, we're going to learn how to customize and manage our little status tabs. So in Happy Fox, you have the extremely easy functionality to click on your little status icon, and you could change the that tab by uh, selecting one out of the list. But what if I want to customize this list, something that flows a little better with my company and processes? It's extremely simple to do. And um, let me show you that momentarily. I just wanted to show you again really fast that you could also change statuses by selecting all of your tickets by clicking this checkbox, changing the status. You have some additional options down here, notice. And um, you also have the option just to change the status of a couple or any combination of tickets as well. For example, we'll change these to solved. And notice once I do that, they do not show up in my pending tickets feed anymore because this solved status has a uh, completed functionality, which I'm going to show you in one second here, okay? So again, notice if you are looking for a ticket that is on hold or with the status of open, you could just simply click on these sub tabs here and all those tickets with that status will populate. So back to creating our own statuses, click manage, general sub tab, and then scroll down to the last option, which is statuses here. And now you have the option to edit, delete, or make a status default which means uh, whenever a new ticket comes in, by default, that ticket is going to be set to the default status, in this case, new, which makes sense. So um, another thing to notice really fast, actually, is let's say I want to delete a status because I don't like it or use it anymore. It's going to tell you, well, you can't delete this particular status. It's a part of a smart rule. Depending on how uh, deep you have customized your Happy Fox account, you may or may not be able to delete these statuses uh, before doing some other, uh, deleting some smart rules or whatever they're connected to. So for example, if I delete this booking status, it's not connected to any smart rules and it'll allow me to delete if I want to, but it's going to tell me that this status is connected to two tickets or however many tickets it would be in your case. And uh, what do you want, what status do you want to move it to? Because we don't want to delete these tickets for good, right? So it's got that kind of safeguard in place there, and I just wanted to point that out. So uh, add a new status in order to customize your statuses. In this case, I'm just going to say test status uh, so that you can see the functionality. What an order number do you want to use? In this case, I'm going to put six, and what this order number means is what order is it going to show up on this list, basically. And then I'm going to select my color, and you could choose any colors you want on the color palette. This one's cool, so we'll just use that one for now. And then you have the behavior which means you could have a pending status and it will show up in the pending tickets tab as I showed you, or it can have a, com a completed behavior, which means like when we changed those two statuses a minute ago to solved, it no longer showed up in the pending tickets feed. It only showed up in the, in the solved tickets feed. Okay. In this case, I'm just going to leave this as a pending status and save my settings. And once I do that, We'll be able to jump back over to our tickets tab and put this status to use by just clicking and selecting it. And it's that simple. If you guys have any additional questions, email us. We're happy to talk to you. As always, we appreciate your business. Thanks for using Happy Fox.